Hey, I'm Sterling, and I want to illustrate for you the significance of what Jesus has done for us in all reality with regard to our sin. Well, I have my two friends here, Chris and Zach, and you know the thing is they're holding their cup of life, and Romans 5.12 has this verse that through one man's sin entered the world, and thus it has entered upon all men, and we have this sin stain in our lives. And each one of these drops represents sin, and these things are poisonous. Well, we're stained by sin, and Romans 3.23 takes it even further. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. I say Chris here, he's done a few things, and you might consider them a little bit more innocent. Maybe told a few white lies, uh, lied to his parents, cheated on a test, whatever. Say Zach here. He's done everything he, he can in his power. And Zach's my buddy, and this isn't really the case, but say he's done everything in his power to just sin as much as he can against God. The thing is, Paul elaborates that there are 613 commandments in the Old Testament. It's not just the Ten Commandments, but we're told to do a whole lot of things in the Old Testament. And yet this is the law. It's the schoolmaster that trains us up to the grace through Jesus Christ. And say he's broken every single one, and it's just this big spurt of sin. And yet... The thing that you might notice is these are both still the same color. Alright, so we're all guilty of sin. And essentially at judgment, what God tells us to do is the equivalent of saying, drink what's in your hand. Now what has Jesus done for us? Well, in Zach's case, what if he comes and repents? He repents of his sin, he asks forgiveness, he turns from his sin, and he exchanges his cup with Jesus. Jesus lived a pure and sinless life. You notice there's no red in this. There's no poisonous drops. There's no sin. It's fully pleasing to God. And he was the pure sacrifice that God has provided for us. And you know what Jesus has done for us, all of us. Through faith in him, we accept this gift. He's taken on all of our sin. And the same is true with Chris and me and you. The thing is, Chris can also, through hope and faith in Jesus Christ, exchange his sin for the righteousness of Jesus Christ. And 2 Corinthians 5.21 illustrates this beautifully in saying, He who knew no sin was made sin for us so that we could become the righteousness of God through him. And may we just love this truth and, and embrace this, that through faith in Jesus Christ we can walk in purity. And at the judgment, we do not need to fear death. We don't need to fear the judgment because through Jesus Christ, through faith in him, we've been forgiven. And guys, I hope that's a blessing to you, and God bless you. May we grasp that and have pure cups. Amen.